Hi Libras, this is your bonus love and relationship reading. Okay, so this is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so the first card that came out for you guys is the tower. You have the ten of swords. Whoa. And you have the two of cups. All right, so let's just take a second and see what's going on here. Because all of these cards fell out right together. Okay, so with the Tower card, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Cups, there was an ending here, but someone is missing you. Someone still wants to offer you this cup. So I don't know if you ended it with someone or they ended it with you, Libra, and now they're realizing they don't want this to be over. Okay, whatever this Tower situation that came into you guys' love life, it was meant to be this was to wake someone up so i don't know if this was to wake you up or your partner um flip and reverse the roles as need be if this is not you feeling this way libra this could be your partner feeling this way about you but somebody's having a tower moment or someone had a tower moment and now this is where they stand they want the two of cups with you so i do see love coming back into your life so if you're wondering if this person is coming back to you they are okay they're definitely coming back around they want this two of cups with you but this person is guarded some of you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius i see water here cancer pisces scorpio and i also see um air energy another libra such as yourself an aquarius or a gemini yeah i keep seeing judgment something is not over here Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? Somebody walked away from this connection. That card just flipped out the deck. The Eight of Cups. So did you walk away from someone or did a water sign walk away from you? Someone walked away here. But now they're rethinking what they did. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have? Oh, that wanted to flip out. Yeah, the will of fortune. There's going to be a change to your situation. If someone walked away from you, they're thinking about this and now they want to come back in because they've changed their mind about the situation. Trust me, with that will of fortune, now they're realizing that you're the person that they want to be with. Ace of cups. Telling you, can't make it up. This person wants you back. But some of you may have new love with that ace of cups. Or you the way, I'm sorry, that card just flipped all like over twice and right in my face <laughs> all right like the universe was saying here look at this look at me all right so here's the temperance card that was flipping all around when i was shuffling and then we have the two of wands so i feel like some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius if not the universe is saying be patient if you're waiting for this person to come back around they're trying to make it well they were trying to make a decision between you and another person they've made their decision They've chosen you, but this person is guarded for some reason because the seven of wands is here or that could be your energy where you're guarded now because you're mad that this person walked away or you're mad because of how they treated you. We have the six of wands here. Somebody wants a victory in this connection. They don't want this to be over, but I feel like they ended it. Yep. Here's the ace of pentacles. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk fast enough. The cards are just flipping out of the deck. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait, <laughs> I can't even get it out fast enough. Okay. The reason why this is happening, right? The Page of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Libra. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And you're going to come in and tell this person that you want to move forward with them. Okay? This is either you telling this to this earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this is this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn telling this to you. Somebody wants to move forward. Someone's coming through with a message, some communication with the Page of Wands. Okay, so expect a message from your person. You could be dealing with a um, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Expect to come towards this person or this person is going to come towards you. Somebody doesn't want to um, let this go. They're not going to let this go. Also, I'm feeling like whoever you were dealing with, they were dealing with someone else and now they're going through it with this person. And that could be why the tower card is here. So if you didn't have a tower situation with your person, they had some they had a tower situation with someone else. And they're just not telling you about it. Yeah, I keep seeing the five of wands here. They were fighting with their person. Spirit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Before I could even ask Spirit a question, the eight of wands came out of the deck. Okay, so there's going to be communication coming towards you from this person. So just expect it. For some of you, it could be a um fire sign could even get that out 
an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. If not, it could be any sign. The person is coming towards you and they're going to come in fast when they decide to move. Because right now, this person is very guarded. Okay, they're very guarded. But I don't, if, if you know that this is not you and this is not your situation, then they had an argument with someone else that they were dealing with. And they're coming towards you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? Yeah, we have Capricorn energy here and we have the nine of pentacles. Somebody wants to be single from a Capricorn. And like I said, if this is not you feeling this way, Libra, this is your person. But for some of you, I feel like this is you. You're single now. You walked away from a Capricorn or you want to walk away from a Capricorn or you want to walk away from a toxic situation. So for those of you that are not dealing with a Capricorn, you want to walk away from something that's very toxic. And you have someone in mind that you're going towards because the Queen of Pentacles is here. So some of you are going towards the Queen of Pentacles. But you're trying to figure out how to do this. You're trying to figure out if this is going to work. You're trying to figure out like how do you make the other stuff work that you still have to deal with. Like even if you don't want to deal with this Capricorn anymore, you're f trying to figure out like how do I deal with the other stuff? Like some of you may have children with this person. Um, you may share a home with them or an apartment or something, but somebody wants to be single here or either they are single, they've had an issue or a problem, and now they're ready to walk away from the situation and come towards you or you're going towards someone else, Libra. Yeah, there's a family situation going on here. Tanya, you cannot make this up. Like I said, for some of you, it's an earth sign that you're walking away from. But you're going towards another earth sign for some of you because we have the nine of pentacles and we have the queen of pentacles, okay? But there's a family. That's a, There's a family situation here where it's not so easy for you to just pack your bags and leave. There's something that you have to handle first. Or, or something that your person has to handle first with the ten of cups. Some of you it could be a water sign that you're dealing with, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? Okay, so those two cards wanted to pop out of the deck. And here we are with the Five of Wands again. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like someone is coming in to give you an offer or you're giving someone an offer. Take it how it resonates. Page of Pentacles, Five of Wands here. There's conflict behind all of this though. And I feel like you're fed up with something Maybe you're fed up with this person that you're dealing with, Libra. And I feel like some of you are not even saying that you're walking away. So we have the Four of Wands and we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, Libra. So some of you are married to this person with this Four of Wands. And with the Eight of Pentacles, is like you've tried to work on this as much as you could, but you don't feel like it's getting anywhere. And I feel like this person wants you to stay and continue to work on this. But there's too much conflict in this situation. The way these cards are coming out is too conflicted. Okay. You don't see anything getting better. And I feel like the only thing that's keeping you with this person for some of you is children. Okay. And that's this is not going to resonate with each and every Libra out there. So keep that in mind. But this is definitely what some of you are going through. And like I said, if this is not you going through this Libra, then this is your person. And they're just not telling you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? Yeah, three of cups. See, something was going on by a third party situation. Somebody in this situation, Libra, knows about a third party. And maybe they're keeping it to themselves. Here, what messages do you have for Libras? Yeah, someone from the past here. We have the Six of Cups, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the Star card. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. If not, with this Six of Cups and this Five of Swords, somebody wants... Okay, oh my goodness, this is... um. This reading is like all over the place. With the Six of Cups here, somebody wants a reconciliation, right? But this person is looking at someone else. It's like they're not even paying attention to the person that wants to reconcile with them because they see um, wish fulfillment somewhere else. Because if you look at the Five of Swords and the Star card, 
Yeah, this person is looking back at another situation that sh that wish fulfillment for them. And with that six of cups, I feel like their person, whoever they were dealing with, wants to reconcile, but they don't want to. Yeah, some of you, this is definitely a marriage. Okay, Libra. So some of you guys are married to this person. And you don't even know if this is going to work out. You're like, I, I'm, you see wish fulfillment somewhere else, Libra. You do. You see wish fulfillment somewhere else. But you're not sure how to get out of this marriage. For some of you, it's a marriage. Okay, for others, it's not. But for some of you, it is. And you don't see how to get out of it. But your wish fulfillment is with someone else. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? What does Libra's person want them to know? I feel like some of you have a choice between two people. Somebody you're married to and the other person you're not. But you get along with this person very well. And you want to go towards that person because that's where you feel a lot of love at and attention. For some of you, it's a Leo or an Aries. All right, so we have the King of Swords popping up here. We have the Strength card. And we have the Emperor. So some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Leo, the strength card. If not, you're trying to stay in control of this situation because you're becoming very distant and very cold with the King of Swords, okay? And this person is noticing you pull them back. And like I said, keep in mind, if this is not you feeling this way, this is your person. But somebody is noticing the other person is pulling away from the connection. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? What does Libra's person want them to know? What does Libra's person want them to know? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. This person has options. This person has another option. And this could be you having another option too, Libra. Three of... Somebody is waiting. All right, so let me just say this. Somebody with the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is waiting for someone to make a decision. Okay, I feel like this is your person, Libra, because they're trying to figure out if you're going to stay with them or not. Because they feel you pulling away. So they don't know where this connection is going. And for some of you, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for others, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're trying to figure out where is this headed? Where is this going? This person sees you as wish fulfillment, but they also see you walking away. They see you moving away from them with the Six of Swords. Okay, and they feel like you're being sneaky. So Libra, either you're being sneaky and you're moving away from someone because wish fulfillment is somewhere else, or this is your person. But something is going to end here with the death card. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? Okay, yeah. Somebody feels left out in the cold and they don't know what to do about it. With the eight, eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, somebody feels like you're leaving them out in the cold. Okay, so somebody is confused here on how to handle a situation. It's like they're no, they're no longer happy. So if this is you, Libra, you're no longer happy in this situation, but you're not sure what to do about it because there's children involved. There's a marriage here for some of you or some sort of long-term committed situation where it's not easy for you to just get up and pack your things and walk away. But some of you are definitely thinking about it because happiness is elsewhere. You feel like... Some of you are staying in a situation because you feel obligated. You feel obligated to be there or you don't want to hurt the other person's feelings or you know if you walk away from the situation, it's going to cause an uproar, okay? So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, your bonus love and relationship reading Libras. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.